Hi, Gary Golka speaking. You know, when I developed the PSP7 Pro, I did so with the intent of creating a multi-purpose, multi-functional tool that the average person could use during their paranormal investigations. Now, the cool thing about many of the features in the SP7 Pro is that they allow the user to adapt to very specific environmental conditions. So the first thing that I'm going to show you today is how to use the trigger, which allows you to basically add another little helping hand while you're doing your investigation. And what I mean by that is the trigger, the REM especially, allows you to set this up, place it someplace, perhaps by a camera or a recorder, and when triggered, we're looking for spirits to speak to you. Once the trigger is enabled, you can adjust how long the device operates before the off delay kicks in. And that's done with a sweep off timer. So let's go through some of that setup procedure because again, it doesn't cost you anything to put this someplace within the environment and if spirit wants to speak or has something to say they can enable this and turn it on automatically speak whatever they want to and hopefully you capture that with your camera or recorder let's begin by taking a look at the sensors so on this side over here you see it says sensor it's off IR and REM, that's a combination. So you have basically an OR circuit. If any of those are activated, it will trigger the device. Just the REM or just the IR. I encourage people to use common sense when using the IR. The IR is susceptible to many different gradients and wavelengths. So you have to be alert and aware that your camera may trigger it off, sunlight, lamps, those types of things. You want to use it in complete darkness. And over here we have our AM and FM antenna. I always use it on. I've never turned it off. There's no reason to because I've learned that spirits can manipulate the frequencies and the frequencies are where they embed their words, phrases, and sentences sometimes. So let's do this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my switch to REM. I'm going to pull out the antenna, make sure my antenna switch is on. Next thing I'm gonna do is, this is the field where it's active. So if spirit were to engage with you, their energy would activate it by using this area. So let's turn it on by holding the power button. Now, a lot of times people ask me, what configuration do you use? Well, I really do like 40 kilohertz and I do like a very fast rate of speed when I'm sweeping. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use 70 milliseconds. I may go up a little bit, maybe to 90. It, um, it's adjustable in 20 millisecond increments from 30 milliseconds up to 350, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there for now. And the next thing we're going to do is you hear in the background, let's bring up the volume a little bit. That's the next step. I'm going to offset that just so that I don't get uh, into any problems with uh, copyright or something. All right. So now we have an active field here. We'll demonstration how that works. Okay, over here in the bottom right, we have a timer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust that timer for 30 seconds. You can adjust it 45, 60, 90, 120 seconds to give Spirit a chance to talk, but just for the sake of them getting their words through when they do trigger it. 30 seconds I'm going to use for this demonstration. Okay, so right now as it sits here, you can see that it's quiet. At this point in time, you can put this down on a table, 
put your recorder next to it, and allow it to go to work. Of course, you can increase the volume. And this is what would happen if Spirit triggered it. You're responding. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and after 30 seconds, there's an off delay. So it turns off automatically, resets, and it's ready for the next activation. Now, many of you probably are confused by the mute button, but the mute button is put into effect right now. Let me take it off. If you don't have the mute button on, this is what you would hear, okay? So you hear all the noise. Well, during your investigation, you don't want that noise. So press the mute button. This way, it only comes on when it's activated. All right, and again, you're just gonna place this down someplace. So this can be a silent helper in the field for you. And if you catch something great, you've got it uh, on film or with your recorder. That's application note number one. I hope everyone understands what I did, and I hope everyone benefits by me going through this demonstration. Have a great day.